not good enough. Um, great start. And then you're thinking, just, you know, we looked all right. And then three goals in the space of, what, seven, eight minutes, I suppose. Um, just just not good enough. And you know, we need to form, you know, same old stuff for me. We need to go back to the room. We need to start again. We, we've got to find our identity, what we're about at the minute, because we're getting... We're getting beat up both ends of the pitch, we're conceding too many goals. Um, and we've got to go back to boring old basics. It must be frustrating because you know previous two performances in a week have been really good. Yeah, they have, yeah. But you know you say you go one nil up and, and the game plan, you know, you we, we've got an extra man in the middle of the park. Um, they were a threat first half, you know, they were they looked a, a strong outfit. Um, but the goals were just you know, too easy. And and listen, it could have been more. Um, too many times the ball went across the box. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we picked up a couple of injuries to, to, to key defenders, but, but uh, just just not good enough on our part. And you told the players that? Oh, they know without a doubt. They didn't need me to tell them that. Um, and, you know, we we played all right second half, but it, it didn't matter. We were three-one down, chasing the game. They were. Fairly comfortable. We had, we had a few chances. Um, just in both ends of the pitch, we're not we're not we're not anywhere near where we should be at the moment. You obviously had to make changes. At CBB, what's what's the no, he's, he's done his ankle. Um, looks looks pretty swollen. And that was stupid. You know that's. You know he's up and down. Up. up he's down one minute. Up. I'm not having a go at them at all. For like, I don't. I'd have done exactly the same as them. Um, he went down in there off. He should have just stayed down. I think if I'm talking hindsight now, he should have just stayed down. Let Wes come on. They would have kicked it out. Let Wes come on. Instead, we we don't know whether he's coming or going. I playing him on side on. It was just farcical on our part and uh, not good enough. You obviously had a regular left back on the bench in Billy Jones, but you chose to be on Sida. What was the thing behind was, that? I just, the, the lad was handful. I didn't, I, you know. I just um, Sida was. Was the first option I chose. But what prompted you to put Sid on ahead of Billy? I don't think Billy's played yet, so I, my, my decision was that Sido has comfortably dealt with wingers, and I thought Sido was very good when he came on. And uh, what's the latest on Steve Elliott? He got smashed in the face. Um, seen the DVD, so he's got a nasty elbow. Um, yeah, he was out. I think he was out for a little while, so straight off, he's got really, his jaws really sore, his cheeks really sore. Um, lucky that nothing's happened, really. What was your view of the incident in the first half when Terry Gonell was through and the goalkeeper came out? I thought the referee got it wrong, to be honest. I'd have took the goal. I'd have took a goal from, from the incident, but I, from where I was, I thought I thought the keeper played the ball. And, and But that's from the dugout, you know. They were moaning. I didn't even get involved because um, I didn't think it was a foul. But I'd, I'd have taken any, anything from it, but unfortunately we didn't get anything anyway. Where, where do you go with the players now? We get back onto the training ground tomorrow morning. Um, we've got a game Tuesday. I've got we need a head count tomorrow. To be honest, I've got four or five walking wounded or or injured. So I need to have a to have a look, to have a rethink, and um, we'll do a little bit tomorrow. See where we are and in preparation for Tuesday. You know, it's, the game's coming thick and fast, and you want that to put it right. But we'd have to whoever plays now on Tuesday. It's a massive opportunity to, for them to stake a claim now because um, no one at the minute is doing that bar a couple um, it's up to someone to say right that shirt's mine and you know the, everyone on the bench um, comes into the reckoning and, and we'll see where we go we, you know Plymouth beat us last week so we, we play them again it's a chance for us to deal with their front two better deal with their their back four better than we did you know we've got to stand up to them we've got to try and do what we do well not well at the moment but try and do what we do properly um, We've just got to be a damn sight better than we are, Colin. You said um, you're not happy with everybody, but our couple, who would the couple be? Scott Brown came back, the only player out there today. Who, you know, he's not really had a chance for, for anything, any goal. Um, we've exposed him. Yeah. I feel for him, <coughs> we've the number of goals we've conceded, and, and Scott has been, been been excellent. So, listen, we all take responsibility together. You know, It was, um, it was a, a poor performance, uh, one we've got to put behind us quickly when we, we, we can put behind us quickly because we've got a game on Tuesday and um, you know, we can, whoever, like I said whoever puts that in that starting 11 puts that shirt on has got 
he's got a chance to stake a claim for a longer spell in the team. You, you said earlier in the week, Nick, you weren't expecting ins and outs before the deadline. Does this change anything? No, no, not that, not that I know of. Um, I shall ask the question, no doubt, because we're probably we're going to be a couple of bodies short. But um, I, don't, I don't see anything. I don't see anything happening, to be honest. I've seen you frustrated after performances. I've seen you angry after performances, but you seem quite down. Um, yeah, we're dishing up some rubbish at the minute, and we've got to get out of it. You know, we've got to look at ourselves and just make sure that you know we respond in the right way. Now, I'm not down. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed and I'm, I'm angry at the performance. But you know, we've got to go again tomorrow. Um, we will do. Um, I have no doubt about that. But, but players. So you can't just play when you want to play. You can't just play for the mid, the middle of the game when the game's already over. So you know, we've got to we've got to be mentally tougher, and that's that's everybody. And a message for the Champions fans. Ah, I'm sorry is the wrong word because you know, they, they don't want to keep hearing me say that. But they, but they know, like I do, that we weren't good enough today and, and got resounded, got soundly beaten. Um, we'll be doing everything we can to put it right. Like you said identity. Um, yeah. <coughs> you haven't quite got an identity. Now. What do you mean by that? Because is it just the way you want to play? Is it? I just think. I think we're a bit. We're getting bullied at both ends of the pitch. You know, our footballers, the Deerings, the, the Richards, the the, the the threat of McGlashan. We're not. We can't use them because we're not. We're not in the We're not in the games. You know, we're not. We're not unfortunately in the games. And you need to. Sometimes you need to get back to basics. Need to just. Um, you know, their front two were, were better than our front two. That, you know, even when the second half, when we were a little bit better, their two centre halves dealt better with anything than our two centre halves, particularly first half. Um, I thought Jason Taylor did a really decent job back there when he went back there. But we, we, we can't be like that. We can't be talking about two and three goals in a half and just being so open. You know, everyone has to stand up if we have to just get back to basics just for just to give us a platform to go go, go on. You know, we've got some tough games coming up. We know that. We're capable of anything, but at the minute, we're also capable of shipping in goals, and that's that's unacceptable. I mean, last Saturday was a complete back to basics performance, yeah. exactly what you wanted. So, what do you think went right there that you didn't manage to do it's properly better, today? The opposition were far better than last week, so yeah. you've got to give them credit. I'm not I'm not taking that away, but just the manner of the goals were just far too easily. And I say you get a you get a start like we did, where you know the pace of Jermaine wanted to get at the right at the left back, Terry. In the right place at the right time to score the goal, you know, it, it should give you a boost. And then on the fast that went on with Craig, just just didn't help anybody. That said, you know, the way he's just walked past a couple and, and smashed one in the top corner from 30 yards isn't isn't good enough on our part. Second one from a, from a corner, we felt we we felt he got blocked, but listen, that's what you get sometimes. The third one just far too easy to score goals. And like I said, we we we're the better team second half. You know, we we showed more of. What we're about, but it didn't mean anything. It didn't mean it because we didn't. One, we didn't get back into it. But they were, they were, t they were two goals ahead, and they, they didn't sit back. That's wrong. But we just made better decisions. Bar the final ball, you know, we play Sammy to try and create stuff, to try and make stuff happen. But um, I'm not getting enough end product off off a number, and and, we, and it's you know it's it's the whole team at the minute not functioning properly defensively, in the middle of the park, in wide areas and up top. We're not. We're not the standard we need to be. Yeah, Craig Brown Barrett, do you think you'll learn from that? Because like, like you said, he should have gone down. Did, were you telling him to go down? Because he did. It I was, was telling him to distraction, really, wasn't it? It was, it, was, it was pathetic. Um, and it hasn't helped us. That said, he shouldn't get beat 4 1 just because of that. You know, we, yeah. we, 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 f we folded pretty timely in, the, in, that, in that period when they scored the first, after they scored the first goal. Like I said, he got injured. In, in there off of the pitch and he, he's run back and the, the ball's in play for another minute and a half and he's hopping around and at one stage he was 20 yards behind our defenders keeping them all on side so we're turning him through the get just come off the pitch and it would have just listen we all we need to learn from it um, and we need to learn from it quickly yeah cheers Mark thanks right. a lot thanks Mark.